Well, all day we've been watching Juneteenth celebrations happen all throughout the country. And within the last hour, people here at home have started coming together as well. Juneteenth is a holiday marking the freeing of slaves in Texas, the last state where that happened on this date in 1865. Our Shira Matsuzawa spoke with one of the organizers behind one of the events happening in the Treasure Valley and why she says today, uh, today's event is so important. Carolyn, you'll hear from her in just a moment, but for those who may not know, the National Museum of African American History and Culture is calling today our second Independence Day. Now today I spoke with Buki Ogun Rinola, and she's an activist and co-organizer of today's Juneteenth event. She says this day has always been important for people who are black, but with the racially charged events that have re recently happened, it makes this year's Juneteenth even more so. Now these are pictures of organizers at the vigil, as well as previous related events, and today's event kicked off at 5 o'clock today, but it is a closed event. Only people only open to people who identify as black. And she says by having this event exclusively for people who are black, they're not intentionally trying to exclude people, but giving individuals a space to heal with people they identify with and who have experienced the same struggles. You know, sometimes you just really need to be in community. I feel as if, you know, black folks in Idaho, um, I feel like there comes a point where I feel like my identity is sometimes put into question and that's just because, you know, other white folks just don't get it being a black person and, and it's hard. And so, um, of course, we don't mean it to be exclusionary. We just mean it to be, it's not we're trying to be, you know, anti anything. We're just trying to be pro something. Shared an analogy with me to help better explain it. I feel as if this is a situation where I'm at, like I'm on a basketball team, for example, and the crowd or all these folks, these non-black folks, the, the fans, everybody, they're screaming and screaming and screaming and cheering. Of course, they're on my side, but you know, when the buzzer hits zero and like we got to go to the locker room, they, the fans don't come with us. It's just the players, and I think that's very important right now because right now the black folks are the players. We have to come together. We have to strategize. We have to, you know, heal. We have to reflect. We got to talk. You know, do a little pep talk with coach, and then we can come outside and celebrate with the fans. Today's event has food from black owned companies, DJs and drummers, and there's also a vigil space set up to mourn those lives lost recently. Now they're hoping to create a holistic environment and event, and the organizers tell me they really appreciate the community for rallying around them. And while today's event is only for those who are black, they will be having another event tomorrow that is open to everyone. Buki tells me those who may wish to celebrate Juneteenth today though, they and can't go to the celebration, they should still use today to research and educate themselves and as a day to self-reflect. Carolyn? I think a lot of people are doing that. All right, thank you so much.